Only 65 calories per brownie. Right, now I've got a pile of ironing you can do. Get stuffed. I can do one job, but I'm not doing that one. They're out of the oven. And Nick has decided to use even more of my Kit Kats. Are you cooking today because you're bored? Yeah. Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. I've lost a pound. You've just put it back on. Right, so this morning we have a delivery um, at our storage unit of some isopropanol. So it's running out, running out. And um, it's great for getting enough adhesive and making hand sanitizer and things like that. So we're gonna go and pick that up. Please stop grunching to me. Uh, we have something to post, so we're gonna post that as well. Um, just sorted out all the paperwork for the van. Um, which should disappear next week. And we've just had the call, haven't we? Or I've just made the call. Um, that Parker. Parker should be here either Monday or Tuesday. Our new car. So. And um, today, in today's video, when we get back, I'm going to make low dough brownies. Oh, well, I want to get a white, I want a white chocolate drizzle on top. Doesn't that kind of defeat the problem? No, because it, it allows you to put the drizzle on to replace the calories that you've lost. Oh, and I've lost basically another pound and a half this week, surprisingly. And our um, Fat Finders Lodge Guys patron group have lost another collectively is it 90 Collect pounds? Collectively 91 kilos. That's basically like one person that has been eliminated. Well done, everyone who's taking so, part. There is about 40 people doing it, something yeah. like that. Um, so. Well, we're getting back to the Lodo brownies. We haven't got any white chocolates, so wait, you're going to have to go into a shop. I know. Well, can we not wait until Friday? No, I'm. Well, how many packs is in there? Um, I don't know. I don't we could do one. Yet. We could do one pack now and one pack on Friday. Hold that, lot, Nick. Let me have a quick look. So, if you've seen our videos before on Lodo, they're like low calorie um, things. Um, so the pizza bases, we've got basically. yeah, we've got some pizza bases. Oh, two packs. Oh, two packs. Right. So what we'll do is you can make them now, and then we'll make the other one on Friday with the Tesco deliver, and I'll put some Nestle white chocolate on, which I'll melt, and then when they're done, I'll just kind of crisscross okay. it. Okay. Bit like a Starbucks bun. Right. And then these, obviously, are the ones that. That uh, we're keen on. We're um, keen on. We've shown them before. These are the best things. 39 calories, a pizza base. And you can make wraps with them. You can make ooh, pancakes, quiches. So we've got all the ingredients coming next week, well, yeah. this Friday, for pizzas made with this. However, I've ordered some garlic butter as well because they tend ooh, to dry like out garlic when you cook them. No, you, can, you basically paint the base with garlic butter so mm. it doesn't go too crispy. Okay. So, but we've got, so in effect, we've got eight pizzas here. Oh, when we get back from the lockup as well, I need you to put this on the uh, ironing board for me, please. Why the, do I have uh, to do it? Brabantia. Well, I iron. You do that. <coughs> Before we go out, Nick's just finishing the uh, mouse proofing off. I'm just painting the, the thing. The, what, what was it again? Make. Expanding foam. Yeah. So, making it go. black so it doesn't stand out too much. There we go. So it wasn't this, well, it was basically bright yellow. I'm sure I've just felt some rain. Oh well. Right, we're out and about. We're actually sat in traffic, so I took the, took a few minutes out from um, just sitting here being bored off my mind to uh, update in the vlog. So we've just called up Postbox, posted the mail that we needed to do. We have some things, some paperwork to put into um, into the lockup, and we have got a parcel to pick up, which is like I said, isopropanol. It's basically rubbing alcohol. When we get back, I'm going to have a Weight Watcher soup for lunch. Mm. I'll then, skip lunch. I'm going to make a load of brownies. And I've just added a Nestle white chocolate right. um, dairy, um, Nestle milky bar to the delivery on Friday. I was just saying to Nick, I enjoyed cooking last night. I mean, it wasn't cooking, it was, there was a little bit It was easy. cooking, it wasn't chefing. It was chefing. salad. Um, assembling is not cooking, it's I just, had, a, it's, had, it's cooking. It wasn't just assembling, I had to caramelize the onion and do the bulgur wheat. Oh. I was just saying, I really enjoy yeah, sure. um, this HelloFresh or Gusto, like, all those kind of things. Because it, it makes you me feel think. like I've created a really nice dish. It was very nice last night, actually. And, and there's no way I would have done that off the top of my head. Absolutely no way. No. If it were just left to myself, it would be a crisp sandwich. Ooh, I could just eat a crisp <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> but that's why I like the step-by-step -step instructions of it all. I love it. I it just gives you the ideas. That's the yeah. that's the thing. It's like you wouldn't have thought of putting like orange and beetroot together. No, or roast, with goat's roast cheese, roasted almonds, and stuff like that, and bulgur. I mean, bulgur. We've never used bulgur. We've never. Well, I've never heard of it. No, I love how. I we still just, don't even know what it is. You just leave it to cook on its own off the off the. Uh, yeah, you just put hundred ml of water in and boil it, and yeah, then turn it off, the and it just soaks it up. So and I'll, it's just like couscous, I really, might, isn't it? I might cook again tonight. Cook again, okay.
Right, that's my lunch ready. Now it's a cup of soup. Not a cup of soup, <laughs> Weight Watchers. Cup of soup. Can you get your head anymore to the left? Well, well, I can always just turn the laptop around. You've got a couple of people to, to, you've got a couple of people to say hello to. I have. It's um, Simon Percy and Michael B Bailey Howard. Hi guys. I presume I pronounced that correctly. So I'm going to get a couple of, ignore the um, mucky washing on the floor, there's a load in currently. I'm going to make these shortly. I'm going to get a couple of crackers to go with my soup. And then I'm going to watch some Star Trek Discovery, which we're re-watching at the moment. And then we'll get back in the kitchen and do some Lodo cookies. Brownies, even. Right, it's time for Lodo brownies. Um, that is what we picked up earlier, Nick's new delivery, isopropanol. Um, he uses that to clean things. Well, I don't drink it. And if you add some, uh, that's our um, this is the old stuff. potions and lotions and cleaning cupboard. There's a if, dribble in here that... Oh. Apparently you can make your own um, hand sanitizer with that if you add aloe vera as well. Yeah, or soap or whatever. It'll probably fill it right up. This may be thrilling content, mm -hmm. but I got I got up to um, do the Lodo brownies. But Nick said he's that bored that he wants to have a go at them. And I'm going to film instead. Right, I'm just going to put this away. Now then, I can't remember how we do these, and we haven't got any chocolate for top, so I'm gonna have to be. I don't well, know. it comes. All right, it comes with um, full instructions on the back, as far as I remember. So you're fine. Yep. And, uh, sure. It oh, Careful, no. because they do. I think you just add water. Oh yeah, it's directed for use. Preheat oven. Add the contents. The packet of mixing bowl. La 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 la. Yeah, very very easy. And each one. Let's have a look. Has. Is that what it is? 65 calories. Oh, the, um... oh yeah, there we go, at the top. Only 65 calories per brownie. Thank you, uh, Washer, for telling me you finished. Reduced fat, low sugar, real chocolate, gluten-free, high protein, high fiber. Right. So. Now, I need a brownie. A really fancy one as well, when they're ready, with a nice coffee. What, fresh out of the oven? Uh, well, no, I'll have to... Um... You best preheat the oven. What's it say? Preheat it to? Uh, well, you know that oven is rubbish. 190, so not too hot. Uh, okay. Great. This is easy. So, preheat the oven, add the contents of the packet into a mixing bowl and add 250ml of water. Mix well until combined. Make a bit more noise, why don't you? Add the mixture to an 8 inch brownie tray, place it in the oven and cook for 20 minutes. You couldn't get, ask for easier than that. I think I did them last time, didn't I? It's that uh -oh. easy. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nothing. 250 ml, you said? Yeah. Right, wait a minute then. Uh, add this and mix. Dead easy. Very. I don't think it needs a bit of white chocolate though. To give it a bit of... But we ain't got it so we can't. Well, you, could, you could always melt down some dark mint chocolate Kit Kats. I was only joking. Well, You're not having my Kit Kats. Well, there's a normal Kit Kat in there. We could always crumble some. Yeah, there is four up. fingers. Yes. We could crumble some up and put it in. Come on, come on. Get, get out, Wait, get I want to see this first. Right. So just literally mix it in. It has a bit of a, a grainy. Yeah, it's almost like um, like oatmeal -y type. Well, Something like that. A bit like cement, like a cementy. Mm, okay. It's like a gritty. That's where that's the right word. Gritty. I love chocolate brownies. This is going to be so much nicer with chopped up Kit Kats in. Oh, you're actually going to put it in it? Yeah. Well, that, well it won't be 65 calories. No, you're not doing that. I'm going to put one Kit Kat finger and spread it amongst all the brownies. It'll be absolutely fine. It does actually say, don't be tempted to put add more water because it'll make them really sloppy. And this looks like it's going to be really dry, but... It's fine. Right, you can um, pause the camera and let you stir this while I crumble a Kit Kat. No, it's okay. I'll get the Kit Kat. I can't, can't believe you're actually adding to it though. Yeah, but it does actually say you can do that. Mm -hmm. give it extra... Looks like somebody's been into this Kit Kat already. Well, we must put all three fingers in there. No, we might as well not. Just put one in. I want them to be a low calorie treat. It's still low calories. One Kit Kat get finger out. amongst. Yeah, one, that's fine. Well, we'll share one and what? then put two in. Yeah. We'll share that. Mm. Oops. Oops. Get it crumbled then. Right. 
Get you can never just do out. anything to the recipe, you can you? You've always got to add things. That's right, that's called being inventive. There you go. That big is too get, big. Get. That bit's too big, I'm gonna have it. Kit Kat Lodo Brownies. Mm -hmm. Mix it in. It'll just give it a bit of a crunch and a bit of wafer, and it'll also enhance the chocolate flavour as well. Oop, I just flipped it onto gas. Right, ready to put in the tray. This is a little bit big actually. So I'm just gonna take We need some, some silicon baking trays. Well, you can. I could line it, but it wouldn't it wouldn't go within the confines of the dish. Is this relieving your boredom? You won't want to meet me. I'm in one of those moods where because we've had a busy few days doing all the parmental, I can just sit on the sofa today and watch TV, but Nick's like exactly what you are doing. Mm. Nick's like, I'm on a bomb. I need to I need to be busy, I need to be doing something. There's well, no, I've got another job for you. There's no this, so you're all right. DIY projects to do. There is a little bit. The mouse mouse stuff is done. Uh, how long do we put these in for? 20 minutes. Does that taste nice then, that mixture? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me try a little bit. You want the bowl to lick? My hands are clean. I always remember when used to when my gran used to bake when I was a kid, I always used to like licking bowls. Mm. Did you? It's okay. It's okay. It'll be better when it's cooked. Did we get, get it into nine the... out of this, I think? Last uh, time. I think so, yeah. So I'm not put, sure how many it's supposed to make. I'll put all the details below about Lodo. If you guys want to check it out, if you want some low calorie treats. We have a link, I think, for um, getting some discount off. Right, Alexa said I'll have 20 minutes. Next job we've got to do. Hey, you're not dishing job then. <laughs> you're bored, so I'm giving I'm you stuff to do. Bored. Right, come here. Wait. The next job. What? Yeah. There you go. Oh. We need to put this um, ironing board felt underneath this cover because I'm sick of our clothes having... So if you look at this underneath as ironing board, oh, you'll have to undo this strap. Where's the strap? Oh, it's just, in a ba it's just a band. That makes it easy. That's easy. Right. So underneath here, there mustn't be anything. Oh, there is. What? It's an existing oh, felt. Oh, it's existing felt, but it's, that's we'll nothing. We'll just add to it. Yeah. So that's what that's the pattern that comes onto our clothes when I'm ironing. That's not even proper felt anyway. No. Right, pass me here then. It's behind you. So we've got some Abrantia felt. You have to you have to cut it into shape? Yeah, you spread it over, cut it round, and then put your ironing board cover back on. So I'm sure that is an existing one actually, but it's probably been worn over time with ironing. Yeah, and it's dirty. Ugh. It's not dirty, it's just it's ironing marks. Yeah. yeah. Take that down there. You Take just, it down there. You just, oh, right, right down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you going to leave that on? Well, just cut round that. Oh, do you know what I would do without you? Well, I don't know, actually. Right, well, we'll start here. Right, shape that. All done? Yep. Cut to size? Yep. Now, got to get this back on, which is the difficult bit. Right, now I've got a pile of ironing you can do get stuff. I can do one job, but I'm not doing that one. Right, the Alexa alarm has just come. I think, oh. we, I think we should leave it in another couple of minutes because the oven hadn't warmed up. What's that look at them? Oh, I don't... It still looks moist. Um, yeah, maybe, shall I prepare a cup of tea yeah. to go with them? You can't have it like that. What do you mean? You've got to wait at least 20 minutes for them to, for them to set. Oh. They're out of the oven and Nick has decided to use even more of my Kit Kats uh, for the topping of the brownies. Why not? So, uh, I'm just kind of hovering, waiting for it to cool. At least half an hour for them to cool down and get solidified enough to put it. Well, while we're waiting for, for that, um, what time is it? Oh, it's 20 minutes to go actually. I'm going to go and do the Mario Kart Patron tournament at 3 o'clock. Um, right. I'll just lovingly keep looking at these. Right, they're out and I've cut them up and the Kit Kats are just slightly melted so they've bonded to the top. 
And uh, Lee is putting the kettle on because he can't wait. I need a cup of tea with mine. And okay. they are so moist oh. and delicious. Have you turned the oven off? Yeah, you are. They're so moist, they're quite heavy as well. So we've cooked these to perfection. I think the last time we did it, we put too much water in, didn't we? And they were Far a bit sloppy. Too much, actually. I've just had, we, we got one of those a while back. And I've just watched the video from them to see if we did it different. And it was swimming with the amount of water you put in. I know. So do as Nick says, if you get some of these, don't stick be to, to put any more Stick water. to 250 mil. Mix it up well and add whatever treats you want. We didn't add treats last time, we just added raspberries yeah, on top. Raspberries. We've had blueberries out in that. Oh, we well, the one on the thumbnail. In, in the no, no, no. The one on the thumbnail had raspberries on top. You want a cup of tea? Yeah. How was that? Uh, very nice. Do you want another one? No, 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 no. Why not? They're healthy. Remember, fat fighters half the calories twice as much. No, I'll have one after my after dinner now. They are very moist. So, as you can see, the stack, the Kit Kats have melted into little pots of chocolate blobs. And, um,. We've just, uh, Lee's just put the picture on Instagram, haven't you? I have. He loves we've tarting up photos. We've actually got a, um, a gift code for that, not a gift code, a, a money off voucher. Money off, yeah. For that. If, you go to, if you go into the link below in this video and use the code that's in the video, which is The Lodge Guys, I think it gives you 10% off. Yeah. Uh, and that's valid for, for basically the brownies, the pizza bases, and I think they do um, some kind of like coating now for chicken and things like that, like a spicy, mm. spicy coating. Let's try that. I'm about to play uh, the Lodge Guys um, patron tournament, which is daily. The Lodge Guys race, there we go. There we go, it's one minute and I'll be able to enter and uh, have my triumphant return. I've not had, been able to play for a while. Right, well I might just go and basically just I'm chill on the bed. Out. Well no, I'm going to go chill on the bed with my cup of fruit tea. Oh. And just watch... Um, a few people have asked where these cups are from and I've, I've, I meant to look... Dunham Mills. I've just looked, they're from Dunham Mills. We got them a long time ago. You could have just asked me, I could have told you. Are you cooking today because you're bored? Yeah, and I'm hungry. I want another one of those um, brownies, but I'll wait until after tea. So, hands I on time. I mentioned earlier actually, if you do want to order the brownies, there's 10% off. Check out the description below. And it's um, not just for the brownies, is it? It's for, it's um, for the, uh, pizza well, anything, bases. Fact, we did mention it when we were Yeah, anything on the Lodo website, I think, isn't it? Give me that! Wait, I'm showing. So it's ginger beef noodles with green beans and yellow pepper. Hands on time, 20 minutes. So, um... It'll it, take you 20 minutes to tidy this. Give it to you. You can always tell when Nick bakes or anything. Ooh! Forgot I'd just put the little um, brownies there. Right, okay, I'll tidy up while you start cooking. Right, meal preparation is in progress. We've got the mince cooking, all the veggies chopped, Lee's sat doing um, work stuff. I'm just perusing the menu, and then um, we're gonna have a gin and tonic tonight. Why don't you crack one and just have a, a nice gin and tonic with me? Um, if I were going to crack, I'd probably crack on a, a nice red wine. Oh, no. Well, there may be actually. No. Well, I'd like a gin and tonic, thanks. You're a good right. boy, aren't you? Uh, set to one side. Cook the noodles. Right, I'm going to get myself a drink because I'm thirsty. So I've got this new thing now that I'm doing. What, making me a drink? I'm having now. Because I didn't want to, I, I got right into drinking tonic water, diet tonic water, and I didn't want to. So I'm having natural mineral water, what? water sparkling. What? Why didn't you want it? Is there something wrong with tonic water now? It's got loads of sweeteners in, whether you say it. No, it hasn't. The Tesco stuff hasn't. There's point in putting that in there. In no, it hasn't, but it's still got other sweeteners in, because it's diet. Anything diet's got sweeteners in. So I'm on to natural mineral water, fizzy. Um, with um, and I add a little bit of dilute juice, which has got sweeteners in. Just a little bit. Exactly the same sweetness. Just a little as bit. Tonic. Just a little bit. You're a fool. Ooh, you're a, you're a messy cook today. Don't even start. You know exactly <laughs> why. You're <laughs> Nick's had a drama. He almost spilled everything everywhere. Actually, I did spill everything. These gases, the the the, the grill is crisscross, which means pans fall off at each corner, as it did. Oh, this looks nice though. I must admit. I'm going to put some soy sauce on, actually, because it looks a bit sauceless. Well, stick a little bit on mine. And we got any of that, that other stuff? Yes. Uh, well, I'm not keen on that because it's a bit sherry tasting. Mm. Nick's twisted my arm and um, made me have a Lodo chocolate brownie with some Oppo ice cream. Ice cream. Mm. Is it nice? Mmm. It's great, right? What? The contents of that dish are less than a hundred calories. Mm. If this is what dieting is, I love it. <laughs> right, we have a watch party. 
we're going to watch Downton, Downton Abbey movie. We've seen it before. Um, it's been a while before. But um, some of the guys wanted to watch it and we were like, yes, we'll watch it, of course. Uh, so we're going to watch that now. Eat our locale dessert. Oh, it's delicious. And then we're going to do some comments of the day. Right, it's the next day. Where's your nap? Um, I don't know. Um, we're going to do some comments of the day. We went to bed after watching Downton last night. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it again. Um, so, Nick's going to do some comments of the day. Thanks for commenting, guys. We always read every comment. We appreciate everyone. We appreciate your support. And um, here we go. Right, so some of these I've already replied to on YouTube, but we'll read the comments out because not everybody will see them. So the first one is from our friend Devo. I was looking at the Nero as well, still considering it to be honest. Oh, so um, they, have, they have keys in America then? Yeah, of course they do. Um, I would love to tell you about a, a Nero um, Devo. Well, but we still haven't got, got one. Got it. <laughs> Hopefully, so, this time next week we'll have it. Maybe. Um, Nancy Smith says, Nick, if you get shin splints, it might be age. My cheeky swine. Uh, my husband had to give it a, uh, give up running in his forties due to shin splints. Well, I think he, he took up cycling. Up. He only did it twice. Yeah, mine's pl plantar fasciitis um, in the soft tissue underneath my feet, which is what's hurting. So I've stopped running again. Just walking, it's less impact, I think. So it just doesn't burn as many calories. You need to dye your hair full of grey. Um, right, hold on. Let's flip down. Stop. Uh, this one is from uh, Rachel House. Thanks for another uh, <coughs> vlog, guys. Can't wait to see the apartment and new car. Uh, new apartment, you'll have seen by now. New car. New so car, who knows. Lauren Dance says you can both listen to the same Spotify account if you put it into offline mode. Oh, I've asked her a question about that. She you can, it. yes, you can. I knew about that. However, you can't talk to it on Alexa because you can't put Alexa into offline mode. You can put local music on your phone but I think that was about running, wasn't it? Yeah, because we both wanted to listen to Spotify. Yeah, it just doesn't respond to voice, that's all. Oh, that's fine. We but you can download that. your entire Madonna album and listen to it as long as you're off um, Offline, data. oh, that's good. Yep. Thanks for that tip. Uh, Tony Richardson, didn't even show me how to wrap a door. Spent most of my time eating waste of time. <laughs> that's on a really old video when we when Nick wrapped the doors in the Westwood. Yeah. Um, so I think we did wrap the doors. But you just it was need just, to watch the rest of the. It vlogs, was a daily right? vlog. Um, it, you know, obviously the, the, he thought it was a, a whole video about wrapping doors. No, the the word vlog at the end kind of gives that away. Wendy Griffith, you guys. I uh, You guys being an hour and ten minutes early. That's me, can't stand being late. Going to have to try the bacon and bagels. Oh, I could just eat We're usually always early for everything, aren't we? What was that one? Catching up with friends. I think when we went oh, round. Oh, yeah, 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 we, we did. We went round an hour early. Yeah. Um, one more. One Michelle more. Car uh, Carly. Uh, yay for Madonna. No. One more, because I want a quick one. Um, Gemma Brown. Got a sense of deja vu. I watched this when Lee accidentally sent this one out on a link to patrons, so Oops. I managed to watch it before the link was taken down. I, I scheduled it wrong. So, thanks for commenting guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to crack on with today's vlog now. So, uh, if you're not already a subscriber and you've just found our channel, please click that uh, subscribe button and um, we're here every day. Um, interact with the video. Hit the thumbs like up, button. thumbs down, whatever, just interact with it. Click the notification bell uh, so you um, can get notified when we put a new video up. And um, we'll see you 